Hello there. So today we're going to do a comparison video. I don't think I've ever really done one of these before, but I wanted to show some, I've seen a lot of people talking about the Toscana leather from Gilio. Um, I have all Epoca leathers and um, they came out with the Toscana and everybody's kind of like, well, what's the difference? What does it look like? How does it feel? So I'm going to do my best to show, I have two planners that are of the same color leather, excuse me, but they are, one is the, um, the Toscana and one is the Epoca. So first of all, you can see the difference in the boxes that they come in. These are both medium Campanias. This is the Epoca. This is the, um, the new Toscana leather. So the box, you know, it's really cute. It's like this little button detail on the sides. Um, and then it pops up and then the same. So you can see the bags are different color. This one is like really, really, really soft. And this one is more like felt. They're both soft. This one is more almost like, um, like the lens cleaners for your glasses kind of feeling. And then this one is like felt. Okay. So let's take them both out and look at them side by side in natural lighting. So this is my uh, Giulio. This is the gold in the Epoca leather. This is one I got last year. Um, I did use it a lot. You can see that I, I've, um, I've oiled this a lot. Um, I used it quite a bit. And then this is the Toscana, which I have not used at all. I kept telling myself I needed to wait and do these side by side. So here they are side by side, natural lighting. Um, it's interesting to me because these almost look the same, except this one is a little more textured. Now I asked them when I ordered this for texture, lots and lots of texture, and it is very textured. It's very pebbly. Um, it's not, you know, like this, this leather is really, really, really smooth. Um, I have other golds, like I have a gold, um, I had a personal wide in gold and it was a little squishier. This is the Epoca leather. Like I said, I got this last summer or like early summer last year. And I felt like the, the leather was a little different. Like it didn't feel as squishy to me as previous Gilio leathers had. So when the Toscana came out, I thought, okay, I want to try this. And I, I really feel like it's squishier. Like it is just, it feels a little thicker and it, it is, it has that kind of squishy quality. Like, I don't know if you can even kind of hear the difference, right? Like this is really like, I don't know. This one feels thinner. So if that's a you know reason for you. Now I have 30 millimeter rings in both of these. So let's open them up and look at the inside. Now, I will tell you, when I got this, I was disappointed. First of all, because this is like completely smooth at all, no texture. And then I got tons of texture here, texture here, and then smooth, smooth. I just don't like that. I really feel like for the amount that you pay for these planners, it should be, it, it should pretty much match. Um, I've gotten a lot of the Veg Tan Leathers from Moterm, and I feel like this felt just like the Moterm ones to me. Like it didn't feel better in any way um, than the Moterm Veg Tans, realistically to me. This feels to me like a little bit higher quality. So you can look at that and you can see that it does have quite a bit of texture, which is exactly what I asked for. The flyleaf is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And the back is it's all even, you know, I mean, leather's not going to always be all the same. I've got a, like a little striation there. The, um, the strap is really textured. I feel like over time, this is just going to age so well. Um, I haven't oiled this. I haven't done anything to this. This is straight. I literally took it out, looked at it one time, put it back in the box and was like, I need to do an unboxing video. I need to do a, a side by side comparison of the leathers. To me, this feels a little bit more like the old squishier Epocas. There they are, top, top view, bottom view. This is only my opinion. Take it 
or leave it for whatever you will. It is legitimately just my opinion. The color is pretty identical. They're both the gold. So, I mean, I'm trying to get it all in just natural light. There's no artificial light here. This is just light from my window so that you can really see that side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the texture and the feel difference. I, I'm gonna, um, I think I will be using this probably starting September for fall. And I am really looking forward to seeing how it ages. I just, if I had to pick one, I would pick this one personally. I like the way it feels in my hands. It feels, can you kind of hear the squish? It is soft, very squishy. I really, really like it. I really, I really like it. I think it's going to age so beautifully. I just really think that. Um, I will say, I, I'm going to complain a little bit about this. And if Giulio ever could hear me, <laughs> I wish, you know, Mo terms are a lot less expensive. And they have a little flap of leather over this. And I just don't see why they couldn't just add a little flap of leather over this zipper because I don't I don't want it to ruin this. And I feel like it's going to. So um, this is my fault. I had a calendar there, I was crossing it off. The smoothness of this really leans into the marks. But all of these marks right here are all from this stinking zipper and from just closing my planner and snapping it, right? And it, they're just, they're, why can't they just put a little piece of leather right there? Yeah, anyways, um, the configuration is identical. I'm assuming they're using the exact same pattern because it is literally identical in every way. There's no difference in that. It's just the difference in the leather. Let's compare that side by side. So, I mean, if you want a super smooth leather, I would say you probably want the Apoka. I feel like the back is similar. These are just bigger, bigger pebbles. Um, yeah, I, I, I love both of them. I really do. Um, there we go. Side by side in that natural light, trying to catch it exactly the same. There we go. So we can kind of see the... Let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. But the feel, this one is, you know, it's soft. It just feels very thin to me. Um, this one feels more substantial, you know? I don't know. Yeah, that this is, again, this is just my opinion. It's only my opinion, it's all I can give. Um, I don't think that the Toscana has really caught on yet. When I look, there's generally quite a bit left on the website. So I ordered this with 30 millimeter silver cross rings. I always go 30 millimeter because if I'm ordering it brand new, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want the 30 millimeters. I always do silver because any gold rings I've ever had that were cross are always gapped. They're gapped from the time I get them. Brand new, gapped, it drives me nuts. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because they're dipping it in the gold to you know get the color I don't know I have no clue um but they're just always there's always a gap usually in these two but the silver I've never had a problem with ever so yeah okay so um hopefully this is the pun I got with this because I just thought that green looked so good with this gold I really can't wait to use this um in the autumn I think it's going to be absolutely stunning for an autumn setup so pretty. I do love my gold. I'm considering the Apoka. I've been considering selling this um, because I really just feel like this has my heart and I'm going to probably stick with this. Um, I wish I had a regular, like I have, I have a veg tan, mo, veg tan Moterm, but it is in the apricot so I don't I just don't want to compare them because of the the color differences but their veg tan feels like these so if you're looking for a Giglio and you're thinking you want the Epoca I would say go check out the Moterm website and go to theirs and get the veg tan leather or go to AliExpress you can go to the Moterm term store and you can order from there um 
if you want to try this Toscana, I mean, I, I do recommend it. I love it. I really, really like it. I feel like it just feels really luxurious to me. Just my opinion. Um, I mean, you could also do a pebbled Moterm leather too. You could do like the orange pebbled. Um, the color will be, you know, slightly different, but it, it is a cheaper option. So there you go, side by side, Ipoca Toscana. I would just wanted to kind of share that. Um, there's been conversations lately on Instagram talking about it. And, you know, like I said, it's just my opinion. So take it for what it is. Take it with a grain of salt. But now you, you can see them side by side and really see the difference in the leather. Um, anyways, I can't wait to see how this ages. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.